everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. We are counting up to 200 guides, believe it or not, on the Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. And we have something very fun for you for these last two guides as we hit 200. We are going to play some West Coast Swing games together. These are games that are a lot of fun, they're a little silly, um, but they can be worked into really, really, really exciting real life dancing on the floor. So the first West Coast Swing that we're going to break down for you, first West Coast Swing game that we're going to break down for you, and then demo to music is called Eight to Great. We're going to go over the instructions really soon, but Eight to Great is a game that helps you to be more dynamic, more expressive, more brave on the dance floor and to create new opportunities for yourself and your partner. So Matt is going to break it down, we're going to demo it, and then we're going to show it to you with music. Yeah. So. The rules. Essentially, every eight counts, either the leader or the follower is going to do something out of character, unusual, just kind of mess with the flow of the dance. From there, whoever didn't do that is going to adjust, calibrate to them, and get back to normal dancing. Um, if we're going to demonstrate this, first we're going to have the follower do it three times in a row, then we're going to have the leader do it three times in a row, and then we're going to do it alternating for four eights. When you guys do this in practice, feel free to do whatever combination. You can do all follower, all leader, or alternate, whatever you guys want to do. So I'm up. Leader's going to lead as prescribed. Follower's going to do something out of character for the first three eights, and then the leader will respond to that, and the follower will also respond to what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 You get the picture? You might have seen me do three things that may have at least been not basic, if not traditional. Leader had to respond. Now let me see what happens when Matt is it's my turn now. <laughs> doing these non-traditional things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do you see how it inspires creativity, how it inspires responsiveness, and it can create new opportunities with your spacing and with your partnership that you haven't thought of before? Now, we're going to alternate who's doing it. We're going to start with Desiree. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, now six, that. seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. There we go. So as you can see, this does not have to be perfect. You will have times where you put yourself in situations you might not have wanted to, but you get through it, you laugh, you enjoy the partnership, and hey, some of those times were actually quite fun, kind of extreme variations on other variations. And so you can say, oh, maybe I could take me at dancing to the next level like this. All right. Now let's check it out with music. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store. Link in the description. Bye.